Hello, um, afraid the last part of the video, you might not have been able to see too much stuff because I was so excited about um, seeing everything we got that I wasn't really paying attention to manning the camera. So, um, let's do a video just to show, show you everything we've got. Uh, here it is. First of all, come on, screen clear it. There. Victor number three, double long spring, pretty stout. All straight link chain. Minnesota brand swivels in there, and then a quick link on the end. So if you want to attach more chain or drag or something, you can do that. Next, MB650 laminated jaws. The only down part about these 650s is there's no loose jaw. And when you're setting a trap, it's best to keep your fingers under the loose jaw so if it snaps, you don't catch yourself. But that's the only down part about that trap. Those are stout. These are the whole length of coyotes, bobcats. Fox. I wouldn't even want to catch a fox in this thing. That's, we only have gray fox around here. And they have small bird of leg, leg bones, so this could do some damage to a fox. So, these things have fairly heavy pins, so we shouldn't have to worry too much about catching a fox in one of those. I'll be going mainly after coyotes using these. These, coyotes and fox, that's what I would look, uh, not coyotes and fox, coyotes and bobcat, that's what I'd recommend this for. It's Sleepy Creek number three. Twist link, number two chain, spur swivels, quick link on the end. Z trap, dog first, push pull pan. I think I showed you the inside of one of these earlier. I've got two of those and one duke. I really like these dukes. I never tried the Z trap, so we'll try them out. These dukes are great though. I caught close to 30 coons using those and never had a problem with them. And the rest. You're probably thinking, what the heck is that? Bobcat flagon. I can't wait to try this stuff out. Got kind of this Christmas tinsel stuff, red. Then you got a disc, like a DVD or CD. Pink feathers. Hang that up on the tree, starts moving around a little bit. That's gonna catch a bobcat's eye, uh, and he's gonna say, what the heck is that? Come to check it out. Check out your set. You gotta set this like real close to your set so that they'll kill up, see this, see or smell your set, hopefully get caught. Um, some states won't allow you to use animal parts. I don't know if these are real feathers or not, they may be real feathers died. But some states will not allow you to use flagging, period. And some states won't allow you to use um, animal parts. So if you can just use this garland or, and or the um, disc. We got some pink stuff, some purple stuff. This is more white, really. Got some purple in it. I'll get it dark. There's a better purple version of it. It's glued on there, like like with a glue gun. So we're we're pretty excited to check these out. A big thanks to the gentleman who sent these to us. Um, this is prime example of how um, generous trappers are. I mean, we're practically starters. I started when I was 11. Well, sort of. I was, um, we had problems with the coons killing our chickens. So dad, my dad brought, bought us some of these. Duke dog proofs and two of these straps. These are number one and three quarters. He bought us number twos. We, we didn't know nothing. We didn't know a thing about using steel traps. So I was just using these. I caught a whole ton of coon with them. And I met a good gentleman that's running a Texas Trappers and Fruit Association booth at a um, gun show. We got in contact with him. He outfitted us with a bunch of supplies. And we've been using steel traps mainly ever since. Um, we kind of a drought. We had a real bad drought last year. I caught a whole ton of coon. We haven't been seeing many coon. I caught four coon last year. They were all in steel traps. Uh, all one was in steel traps. So, um, oh, history about that. But, uh, if you're a beginner, I highly recommend you go into your state's trapping convention or maybe a Four Tuckers of America or a National Trappers Association convention. Meet some guys. You'll probably get some free. I'm not saying you are, but there's a good chance that you'll get some free supplies, just like we did. So, um, trappers, especially the older ones, are always, um, seem eager to help, uh, a new generation of trappers come along. So, um, 
So we're doing these videos trying to help you what we can. Right now I'm helping some uh, young boys about 10 years old um, get started trapping. So um, this is actually what these are for. A fellow on Trapper Man told me um, I posted on Trapper Man asking for advice for these young boys that are wanting to get started. And God sent me all these traps for them. I mean, th big thanks to him too. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Oh, probably wondering. There's my brother Skunks. He tanned them. Not a hor horrid tan, especially for a home tan. It's pretty good. He's thinking about maybe making a hat. But he's not sure yet. It's the other one. This has got a little bit better stripes. But uh, anyways, I better stop talking before this video gets too long. That's what we got. Got six traps, three steel traps, three DPs, five cat flagging. So thank you for watching. Big thank you to the gentleman who sent these to us. And hope you like, comment, and share this video. And thank you for watching.